Hey guys, welcome back to LEGO Star Wars Gamer. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at another custom minifigure. Um, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at um, Del Miko, uh, a custom that I made a little while back, but I just haven't been able to do a video of it because I was um, working on other things. Um, so I know I made a video on uh, custom Iden Versio, which is another member of Inferno Squad. Uh, I'm not going to show that minifigure in this video because I'm going to make uh, Hask and then the fourth Inferno Squad member and have a video of all four of them. So um, I'm doing each video individual and then I'll do a video of all four of them. Um, I will start working on the other two members soon and I'll get those out to you as soon as possible. Uh, but without further ado, let's take a look at Del Miko. Um, this is my favorite character of Inferno Squad, if you're wondering. Uh, this, So I chose to make him second uh, because he's my favorite character. The first one that I made was obviously Aiden because she's the leader of Inferno Squad. So um, I thought I'd make Del second because he's one of my, or he is my favorite out of the squad. So yeah, let's just uh, jump right into the video and take a look. So I have him started out with it out of his helmet just so I can show you what his face looks like. So, um, face that I chose. Not really sure exactly what face this is, but I thought it um, kind of matched his personality. And also on the other side of the face, there's. Um, just a scared expression. I didn't put any fa uh, paint on the head. Like I, I didn't put any paint on Aiden's head either, just because it's not really necessary. Uh, because there's no scars or anything, so I just left it like that because I think it looks perfect. So the hair piece that I use is just a dark brown hair piece, and that I think works pretty well for his hair piece. So if I just remove this uh, shoulder pauldron really quick, uh, you can see that this is just uh, another Death Trooper. Shoulder pauldron. I use one of these for Aiden too. I might use uh, these for the other two members, Hask and uh, the other member. So I'll use that probably. So if I just pop the head back on really quick, you can see that I did more painting on the arms like I did with the other um, minifigure Aiden. So I painted um, two lines on the top. I did three lines for Aiden since she's the commander. I put two on. Del. Um, not really sure if that's 100% accurate, but we do know that they have uh, lines and stripes on each side of their arms and legs, I'm pretty sure. So I think that looks still pretty good regardless. So on his arm, I did the two lines, like I said, and then I did a line, and then this is supposed to be like the Imperial insignia, and then another kind of line that leads down to the wrist on that arm. And then on this arm, like I did with Aiden, I just did a straight, regular red line, because on the other arm, they don't really have um, the same design, because this is just kind of like signifying their rank, and then on the other one, it's just a normal line. So I use the same torso, Death Trooper torso, because I really love that how that works. I use that same torso for Aiden, um, if you were wondering. So on the bottom, there's these red lines on the sides of the legs, like I also did with Aiden. And it kind of curves in towards the boot. I liked kind of how that worked. So, because I also did that with Aiden. Um, and I think these legs are from the TIE Fighter, First Order TIE Fighter pilot. Um, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're from the First Order TIE Fighter pilot. Um, that's, I think, where those legs came from. And I think, I'm pretty sure I used the same legs for Aiden. I'm not sure. Uh, but if you want to see that full video, then you should go check that out. So yeah, that's the main pieces of the minifigure I use and what I painted mainly. But now we got to take a look at probably the most important part, the helmet. So let me just go put the helmet on so you can see what it looks like on the minifigure. I really like how this, um, these helmets work. I'm glad that uh, LEGO has a TIE Fighter helmet that um, is great for these helmets because the helmets in the game are TIE Fighter pilot helmets with um, paint on them. So. If I just go put the holder back on really quick so you can see the full version. Um, just so you can see the full minifigure with the helmet on. So um, this is what the uh, minifigure looks like with the helmet on. And I really love what they look like with the helmets on and without. So um, I'm going to be working on Hask and the fourth member. I just have to get two more TIE Fighter Pilot helmets and then I'll have those videos out for you. So continuing on with Dell. Um, I have the same painting design as Aiden, as well as the same goggles and the Inferno Squad insignia on this side and the Imperial insignia on that side. 
I tried to get that pretty good. I just kind of, I think I used like a pin or something to kind of like get that design. Um, I think it looks pretty good. And then I also think that looks pretty good just for the size of it and everything. Because it's kind of hard to do. Um, there's obviously no painting on this side because uh, they only have painting on this side on the uh, ring part and then like on the bottom. Um, I tried not to, I think I put some paint right here on the bottom like I also did with Aiden's helmet. So this held, um, this head is uh, pretty much identical to Aiden's helmet. Um, the paint shading was a teeny bit different, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think. It's pretty much the same. Uh, I'll have to show you that in the video where I do all four of them together, um, because I'm going to put all four of them together in that video. Um, so yeah, that's the full helmet. Uh, this part is the back part, but that's actually accurate, but you can't really see their face in the um, in the movie, in the game, and everything. But I didn't want to paint that, because then you wouldn't really be able to use the alternate expression, but... Uh, I'm not really complaining about this that much, because you don't really see it, so, yeah. I think that looks fine as it is. And then, finally, the weapon blaster that I used is his um, sniper that he uses in the game, because um, on the Battle of Endor mission, he does use a sniper, because they tell him to go scout the area. Um, I can't remember exactly the name of the sniper, but I think it was like the DT-19X or something like that. So I used just a standard... Lego blaster rifle because that one looks or works perfect for the minifigure. So that is the full um, Del Miko minifigure. Also, one more thing that I should mention is that this helmet that I used for him was um, the Tie Striker helmet because I didn't have another regular Tie Fighter helmet. But you probably can't even tell. I mainly just went with a um, black marker and colored over the lines, so you can't really tell. It's a little bit more silver on this helmet than Aiden's helmet, but um, you can't really tell the difference. I think it looks fine, just like the helmet does. But I'll have to um, see what you guys think in the video where all four of them are there. And then that's just the hairpiece on the side. So yeah, guys, that's just going to about do it for this video. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think down in the comments below. What do you think of Del Mico? Um, let me know if you're excited for Hask and the fourth member. Um, I will figure out the name of her in the video. Um, because I have read the Infernal Squad book, and it was very good. Um, I might also do a review of that at some point. But I'll get those, I'll get Hask and the fourth member out as soon as I can, and I'll do a video of all four of them together. So yeah, guys, this has been the LEGO Stars Gamer. See you later, guys.